Fury just looks frustrated, despondent at times, and Art, I mean, he knocked over his webcam, I think a total of three times that game. It's time to get it together! We're on Inferno! Woo! Pistol rounds out. Four stack, MIBR, they're running down mid. Yeah, they said, come at me, come at me. Well, you just got some. Leo still up, actually. Dual Barretos. This way. Uh, oh, he is! However, he's all on his own. One player left back is all it takes. We have Furia with an opening round. Okay, then they go live in three. We'll yeah, try that again. Sometimes this will happen. If only one person jumped into a uh, pit, that's when things can get tricky. But beyond that, they're just... Ooh, a couple of great shots from Leo, but... Some nice ones. Yeah, they just... They just, they have to face all of those T's crossing wide. So nice opening round here for Fury to start things out. Galil, Galil, AK, AK, Mac 10. Still always got to be scared. CT side. They've got that scope down mid. Look at this line that he has all the way to the stairs. He's going to look for some damage, but more importantly, let him know that he has information. Drops the smoke instantly after the shot. Penny, one of two AKs, moving up close. SMG and CZ on the other side. Second flashbang's fantastic from VSM. K Serato barely alive. Now he gets taken out. And it's a three versus three. Mac 10s retrieved. There's an AK down there somewhere. They haven't quite gotten their paws on it. Whoa. An additional smoke could give them that cover, but they're so scared about getting caught by some wild spray. It's kind of interesting. Oh my god, they're actually going for the arch aggression from K. Wow. Oh, sorry, from K and G, excuse me. But the CZ rotated in. Yuri whips back with the Galil, takes him out, and that's just TRK, who is alone at the bottom of Banana. Art is here. Oh, uh, uh, waiting, just uh, waiting for him to come down mid, but that's not going to happen. So we'll get a post plan situation, unwinnable one, uh, and Made in Brazil will lose another round. Don't know if we're talking Made in Brazil or MIBR, because I'm pretty sure that they are supposed to just be made MIBR, not not spelled at all made in Brazil, if that makes sense. Okay. By like trademarking or something like that. This is what a, they intended. Okay. But I, I don't know. I don't know which one it is. Not an acronym. But it says made in Brazil on the server, and, you know, we don't have minds of our own, of course. We just read what's on the but, screen. So sometimes we see MIBR, we look up top, we look down, we see made in Brazil. You see, in the GOTV on the server, it also says Furia Esports. Yes, but we know it would never Who be called Furia that? Esports, right? So that maybe we should just call it no, MIBR. Oh my god. Maybe we should. Lawyers, contact us. If you guys want to know why in esports in Brazil they capitalize the S, mm -hmm. it's because I mean, sports is just sports, I believe, <laughs> normally. <laughs> so they have to separate it somehow. Okay. Well, looking for the 3 0. Should find it with E. You think? I tend to. AK P250, USP CZ P250. Two smokes, three flashes. You know, it's enough to work with. The AK goes for the peak, can't connect instantly. And check out Furia. They're already starting to crank up the pressure here towards the B site. VSM with the P250 of all things. Oh my god, he's got a knife out! What's going on? He got the stab in too. K Serato, bleeding from the gut. <laughs> Still standing. That was horrifying. I was scared for a moment. <laughs> what was that, bro? They've got control of things. <laughs> yeah, he just used all his bullets and was like, I will die for you, VSM. <laughs> I will die for you. I absolutely respect the commitment. G looking for a parting gift, but it will be that 3 0, no doubt. And ooh. Oh, the one two bullet. Shots. He got it. Uh, nope. And he's going to die to the bomb, though, so mission accomplished. Okay. Ooh. This is weird. Tough. He gives it his best go. He doesn't exactly have the legs of Tom Cruise. He doesn't make it look like Mission Impossible. Best run in Hollywood. But Henny's not got the best run in Counter Strike. Okay. Well, gun round. Gun round is up. So, you know, uh, it kills me to see Furia frustrated. Just don't want to see that. 
just want to see Furia playing like they should. And it feels like it's their T sides that have been mostly affected, which is, you know, what you know, one of the most interesting T sides in in CS. Just period. So let's see if they can start off strong here. Do something a bit different from that perspective. They've got some aggression. We know that opping on T side Inferno has fallen off greatly. So for Art to pick it up. It's pretty interesting in and of itself. He's getting trapped in tra inside of the fire, and actually, wow, it's a great trap. They don't have a final smoke to extinguish that. They trap him completely, force him to fight. That was actually really tricky from uh, from MIBR. It looks simple, but that's the moment where Art feels like the nades are done, and they throw an additional additional Molotov and then take control of bottom banana. Steals the op, runs back as fast as he can. Molly to the top of mid. Two snipers in play here for MIBR. That secondary sniper on VSM stays stationary at the top of Banana, enables Lucas to work over onto Arch, and justifies the three-man lane stack. VSM having his attention kind of pulled to the left here. Ooh, he oh hit my that. god, he hit that. Yeah. Yeah, he's got the speed. Now they go ahead and grab his gun, and they're getting ever closer. Lucas has worked over. BSM just seeing the barrel. Nice wide swing out from Vinny. Inferno. And he gets the second. Check out the HP left over. We haven't even got the CD side. We already got Vinferno. Great double entry. Insane first shot, and the damage dealt by BSM meant uh, you know Furio were scared. They, they're within one HP of dying, basically. Oh, the nade goes like the only place where it's not going to find any impact. Still so much damage stacked up here, man. I mean, MIBR, they're going to work into this, but Yuri, instant headshot. And he's like the one player for Furia that still has legs to stand on. Oh, what a heartbreaker for MIBR. Yeah, the op, they got to call it. The op makes it so it doesn't even matter how much health they have. And TRK will actually look for some exits, maybe knowing that the damage is here. One player coming up on his right, and he grabs him. Yuri's out. Not so bad. You know, not not so bad, even despite losing. But this is another round for, for Furia, and a real big confidence round for Vinny. Absolutely. And Vinny, you know what? Somebody who was quiet across the first series versus G2. That was a wonderful trap. I mean, they're getting an Arts head for sure. That's just nasty. And he was moving around already, checking out towards Coffin. Yeah. So for him to snap back on CT, excellently done. And they were low behind him. Mm-hmm. 4-0 for Furia. Kicking off Inferno very well. Buyback up from MIBR. Engulfing the tunnel in flames. Player coming down from Furia in Boiler. Got to be cautious of that. He's actually now doubled back. It's Yuri, but KNG bests Art. A frag to the base of mid. Leo commits to the wall as VSM's kind of calling them into action. They could go ahead and attempt to stampede into B. There is a second player moving over. Leo, powerful position. If he can connect the first shot, they are right on the other side. He gives chase, and he gets his kill versus K Serato. But it's a transition from Furia over to the A site, hoping they can work this man advantage. Who's at bat? It's Lucas attempting the second. He gets the better of Henny and Yuri, all that's left over. Damn. How expensive is that with the two kills that TRK got last round? Money in the dumps. You're getting kills would be nice because they're they might be are low as well. And maybe a nice shot here. No, nope, potentially. TRK grabs it and MIBR win that round. Four alive. Furia are broke. They've got enough money on Vinny to buy up if they want to. And in fact, they're gonna try to go for a force just because Yuri also has some cash, but not enough to drop. Okay, Vinny, Vinny can at least. Alright, so the buy is not perfect, but it's still there. Yeah. For what it's worth. Galil, two AKs. It's good enough. Is there a gun down for Art too? Oh no, there is. Okay. Just oh, it's actually very. That pretty good. They spend. They spend the money very efficiently, and yeah, it's not. Not looking too too bad. A good chance at a recovery. VSM. Oh my God, the aggression and a player close, but even blind. Art's able to connect to the headshot. Are they going to try this again? Further damage being done ever so slightly. T's chuck a nade back, doesn't hit the mark, a boost is perfect, and Leo, he wants more. He's hunting 
these headshots. But they have to be content with their four versus three. They concede the control of Banana slightly. Lucas lingers longer. And MIBR, they are shooting for this second round. If they can convert, then the CT side can get back on the board early. Can't afford to go for too much of a risk. However, giving up the top of Banana, that's going to lend itself into the execute from Furia. Check it out. Double smoke, double molly. 3v2 on the site. They cannot afford to go down empty-handed. I love the fact that they stack above one another. Mm -hmm. Somebody here for Furia has to die. So unlikely, but oh my! Lucas just snaps it over. Leo's got another, and it could be here for Yuri. A one versus four. Chops down half the players first and foremost. Smoke to ensure he could get on the site, but he doubles back, in fact. Oh, that could be huge! He just caught TRK, and now he is genuinely on for the one versus four. But it's KNG, posted and patient, and he misses his first chance, but not that second. They will get doubled up on rounds. Wow, the confidence to stick around for KNG. Such a close attempt. A drop shot from KNG as well to give Yuri that one opening. Wicked shot to the bottom of Banana. You better believe if he dropped this one, CT would have got to cover. Reset of the round. KNG moves into a prime position. You see the shoulder bait was very, very nice from Yuri. Nice attempt, man. And, Ooh. oh, dude, I mean, dude, the frustration from Art is just unbelievable right now. I mean, across these two maps, we're talking four webcam drops, okay? I don't know who's picking that up. But someone's got to. Oh, they come back in with another buy. Okay, Serato just desperately hanging on inside of that smoke. All the grenades actually go past, so they could catch them here with aggression. Case Serato catching Leo with his back turn, and he attempts a second off the pistol. That one, not so good. Vinny, in the meantime, opens up on Arch, and he now has an op of all things. It's VSM ready, but Vinny, too quick. And just like that, it's lickety split. They've taken over a site. Hey, taking control of things. But oh, man, Arts, can I get these emotions in check? In man. check, man. Yeah, he. he I, I look at him as just like you know. Sometimes I see him tweeting out like you know to play chess and play chess against people on Twitter. And I've watched some of his games. Pretty good. Okay. He's not, you know, he's not a chess master or anything like that. But he's pretty damn good. And I just hear his interviews and. You watch him play, and you see the philosophy that he's bringing to the game. So much bravery, so much leadership, you know, so, so much, much honor, so much innovation. Class, right? He, he he's he got to the fork of the road and went straight. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, there are so many ways to play this game, but Art found a brand new one. And I, and I think in Brazil, a lot of players come up playing like Art. A lot, a lot of people talk about him as the ultimate Brazilian pucker, but nobody lives a dream to the point that they win tournaments playing that style. And Art has, and. You know, to see someone like that in pain just pains me, right? Because it's like Fallen, right? Does so much for Brazil, so much impact, so much influence on the meta for so many teams in so many regions. I feel like I see a little bit of uh, Furia and Heroic these days. You know what I'm saying? I'm sure that uh, there are a lot of people watching and learning about how they play. Um, and yeah, you just don't want to see that. No, good, good to see Vinny, you know, coming through with that. Great couple of rounds, the double entry round, that off round. Oh, it's, it's again, Mohan, it's, it's the same of more. More of the same. Yeah. Oh, but Leo just gets wrecked through the edge of the smoke. Good job by Art there, taking a beating and a bruising by those utilities, and yet still walks away with the opening kill. And you know, you talk about the frustrations, frustrations we're seeing from Art. Mm -hmm. Genuinely cannot remember when I have ever seen him like this. Not like this, yeah. I'm sure this is killing Gary to watch, to be honest brother no but obviously not too far gone KNG bested by Yuri Henny with another pickup so we could be seeing Furia get right back into total control of this T side I can get the frustrations when you're being robbed of your kills when things aren't working out the way you'd hope for but if you're sitting pretty on a 6-2 T side money in the bank let's take a deep breath and remember where we're at yes you're down a map Yes, you don't want to lose out to the lesser proven, newer Brazilian roster, but they are playing well, and now so is Furia. That's going to be, of course, their second in a row from 4-0 to 4-2 to 6-2.
These are rounds also where MIBR have these overstacks at the top of Banana. Three players, up to them. And uh, they're, they're, they're able to get all of them in these situations. So kind of an imperfect attack from Furia to go into these stacks, but still for them to come up with the, the trades is huge for their confidence. And now we're back on pistols for MIBR. We'll see what they try to come up with. They're split up 2-3. No specific goal here, it looks like, on this round. No no tactics available. This re-aggression on a banana with the Deagle. Flashes one, separates the fight, but doesn't net him much. And at this point, they're down to the single smoke on TRK. For Furia, they could go back to what worked in the past, but... I really have a hard time figuring out what Art will call sometimes, like in terms of the site he wants to go to. One, one of the toughest to read, to be honest. So we'll see where he wants to go with it. We've seen a lot of banana to B hits. I'm a firm believer that on the anti ecos, even if they know you're there, five stack, whatever, with your, if you've got a full exec in your hands and they're all camping in cor corners, first, second oranges, that's one molly. New box, that's one molly. Emo, that's one molly. Like, you should be able to trade out effectively. It's these close angles that are the scariest. Top oranges, stack and CD spawn. Lucas is going to be up close and personal. Better swing it wide. Ooh. Deagle drops the shot. Yuri in position. Good little pre-fire. Loses 60 HP, but Henny with another. And Furia, they're going to move this bomb into the B site where KNG still stands. If they think he's alone, then suddenly they could be walking into a world of hurt. That's the bomb carrier drops. Another kill from KNG. And suddenly, this 2v2. No time. There's just no time. Oh my god. Well, I don't even know how that transpired. I was so fixated on this. On the arch play. Yeah. I really felt like there was more time. But. What? They actually just kind of ran dry. Damn. You know, we started out this round, and I talked about how MIBR weren't even doing anything that special. 2-3 setup, player and Arch camping out. When do you see the clock run out for Furia? Never. Never. This is not a Furia you see often. That's It never happens. It's just not something that ever happens. Arts off-centered. Furia losing to time. To time on an anti-eco. And not even one where early kills happened and they pushed everything. Literally one where MIBR could have could have couldn't have had a a less inspired setup. That just makes me uncomfortable. Scary signs. But listen, it's all about mental resets. We saw, you know, back at the dream hacks in the early days. They would go and meditate 10 minutes before the match. Yeah. We'll see. Anyways, they come through with a hot push. What is this? And it's just CT's dying. Getting absolutely mowed down. That's the two opening kills they need. They're doing a good job now of winning banana with this smoke. I mean, MIBR taking a huge risk by pushing through that half wall smoke. It's not one you'd normally want to. We've seen them with some excellent flashbangs, but not that round. Not at all. T's nearly touched but i mean four of them all stacked up here trk is gonna have to just knock this one out of the park if they even commit beyond him i mean a site completely clear for the taking you can see furia starting to go feel it out mm -hmm. leave Vinny here ahead of bomb move into the a site call it when it's clear 50 seconds no stress they don't get the info they need they're gonna try to wrap The first peak. Oh. TRK will take one with him. Bomb still tucked in the corner. Wait, Henny, Henny just killed, killed his Serato. teammate. Maybe he lagged out again and needed the bomb. That's the only thing oh, that explains I it. Oh, I see. K Serato also lagged out on Nuke. We saw him staring at his feet. Oh, that's tough. Oh my god. There he goes. That's so unfortunate. Well, they'll get the bomb down to plant on A. But he's having troubles. I don't know if they're all in um, Serbia for the boot camp. I know that MIBR are, but I'm not sure if they are as well. Oh yeah, that's not. Uh, yeah, that's that doesn't help. <laughs> that's that's one of those moments that for a second, like Tough. Your, your heart just stops. You're just like, like what? They hate each other now. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. All right. Well, listen. 
of all the times for that to have happened, at least it doesn't affect the outcome of the round. Right, they still win. It's mm-hmm. yeah, a little bit awkward for the money, but that's it. Seven three, you shrug it off. You got to. You know, mental this states is, already. This is where Ga- Gary would be lugging a PC in from the shop right now for them. <laughs> Damn. Booting up a new hard drive. Yeah. Here it is. Art. Blind on the first one. Second player comes through. It's very brave uh, for them to be trying this. I really do appreciate that they're just not scared of Furia at all. Oh, uh, yeah. It's tilting. It's tilting. It is. It does have a huge... It has a huge effect. Brutal. Excellent shot by Henny. Yeah, one tap. Nice. Furia are most certainly going through a mental test with this series. There's a lot of pressure considering that they are expected to be the victors within Brazil. Obviously, technical issues certainly don't help. Art's individual struggles have to, in some way, affect the mood. You know, they're all sharing a room. It's not as though he's silent on TeamSpeak, raging to himself. You see it. It's around you. You know? Mm -hmm. Somebody has to absorb that negative energy. And... The music's playing games with me. I wasn't sure if we were going to get started. Okay, so they're just going to see if uh, anything happens before they start the next round, just to be safe. Hopefully everything's good. Uninstall the bloatware. Get it out. Get it out. Poor Vinny. Always just wants to be happy. You know, we were talking about gamers, gamers the other day. I right? want one. Mm-hmm. And uh, I would say, you know, Vinny, one of the early adopters. A trailblazer. And also, also he went with the double gamer sleeve plus turtleneck once upon a time. Yes. Yes, that was a very Vinny look. He's covering up all limbs and neck included. Yeah. Staying as warm as can be. Mm-hmm. Cozy Vinny. Wide people, blanket energy. Keep it up. Furia, four-round lead, excellent T-side, despite some very real struggles. Oh my, oh god. my god, that utility damage is massive. Yuri swinging out into Lucas, easy first pickup for him. Frag Grenade nearly picks up the double kill, but Leo will still connect before they can fade away. Closer towards A, they will go. They were met by utility resistance and also that pickup on mid, but KNG just slams it home. And now... The A site still in question. TRK up in position. Leo, if he denies Vinny, that would be huge, but he's caught jumping. And so there is no rotate to save TRK. He has everything to do on his own. Whether or not they come to him. TR3K, King of Pit, TRK, best of hit. No. Vinny's got it nailed to the wall. Vinny now 8 and 4, his third frag here in the 11th round. Okay, Serato's still not yet able to figure out those tech issues, so we are set for another pause. VSM, play this one slowly for him. It's interesting that he's... Oh, okay, as <laughs> he's getting close to the off, I see. I was like, is he actually? He's going to get caught. Oh, man, he's slinked. Done yeah. and dusted. Well. Five-round lead for Furia. Back to the tunes. I don't know if he's uh, he's frozen right now, but uh, reading body language, I mean, he's in the server. Yeah, just got back in. Yeah, tough. Well, at least he's got teammates like Yuri and Vinny, who have been stepping up to the challenge. Mm -hmm. Hell, even Case Serato is nine and seven. You know, like he's Imagine, dropped yeah. out of the server four times right. and still has... He's almost got a 1.0 KPR. Second highest amount of kills. It's crazy. You know, when you see issues like this and the team's trailing by five rounds, that's when you kind of really feel bad for them. <laughs> yeah. I, I still don't wish this <laughs> upon any team, but right. hell, at least you're winning. Yeah, winning yeah. by a margin. Headphones are on. 
Gamer hours begin. We're in action. Pause champ. Oh. Hey, Art. I don't know what's he, what he's doing to... Look, if this isn't clipped onto the monitor at all... I really need that to focus. Thank you. All right. Because he's slamming the desk so hard, it's flying off. But he's doing it a lot. I mean, I think when all is said and done, maybe it could be gift potential and he could laugh about it because I'd really like that gift. One of them was was very comical. It like shook for a good five seconds before finally falling off. Right. You know, like the rest of us just trying to hang on. Yeah. Wow, so relatable. We're in this together. Okay. Another uninspired Deagle Eco from MIBR split into a 2-3. Couple of grenades to work with, but no specific plan. Let's see if the time runs out. Did the time run out because K Serato? I don't think so. Not on that one. So either. No. I'm not sure how anything to do with it. We'll see. No, they they just walked into the B site and got yeah. crossfired. Right. I I love that MIBR have been just fighting for mana control every single round. They've just been fighting it, like winning the round or losing the round in the first 20 seconds. I love that. Not even being sarcastic. I think I, I understand where they're coming from. They don't want to give up too much control. Ooh, they've got something going on this one. Look at this. Lucas rotates over. Mm -hmm. You got VSM close smoke and K Serato just got caught on timing. Had a nade out. Now they could still eject back to the A site, in which case they're going to run into TRK. Vinny peeling him off of the B bomb site. B site actually clear for the taking, but oh, he almost stopped the bomb. He won Deeg's art instead. Could have been way worse had that been K Serato's head. And the bomb will be inevitably planted. A little damage exchange here through smoke. A ninth round for Furia, tripling the round count of MIBR. Yeah, just committing on through. And that's a cracked open B site, like a can of tuna. You ever do tuna, mustard, mayonnaise, Absolutely jalapenos? Absolutely not. On flatbread? No. Where do you stop? Tuna. Oh. How do you feel about mustard? Yes. How do you feel about mayonnaise? Yes. Uh, how much butter is in peanut butter? <laughs> <laughs> At least a little, right? <laughs> we. <laughs> So we got, Connor got vegan peanut butter. No, DJ. DJ bought me. DJ, I was looking for peanut okay, butter on, in hold Denmark. On. We went to the corner store. Okay. Uh, got some, I think I got like a bunch of chocolate milk. And other people bought a bunch of other things that we needed for the apartment. Yep. DJ walked out with a pack of batteries and a jar of vegan peanut butter. Yes. Organic <laughs> and we were like, vegan peanut butter. What's that? And he's like, I got to charge my thing or whatever. I was like, okay. And we came back inside and... Um, we were discussing this, like, what's vegan peanut butter? And then Connor was like, the butter. <laughs> and, uh, man, he really knows how to make a room laugh, let me tell you. Yeah. You know, I knew peanuts crushed up would be creamy, but, <laughs> but like, the extra creamy craft? Yeah. There's got to be something in there. But it, to be fair, they were trying to trick, you know, vegan peanut butter, that's a real scam. You know, it doesn't yeah. need to be called vegan. And organic. Yeah, organic. Spoiler alert. Don't spend the extra money. Sometimes. Tastes awful. The vegan peanut butter? Yeah, yeah it's yeah. really bad. <laughs> Listen, no free brand deals, but there's, of course, a brand that we know and love back in North America. That is true. And you can get it in the crunchier, creamier variety. Ugh. And it can really make or break your day. Mm -hmm. And, of course, when you, you, know, you travel, you got to find new brands that you love. We don't know what the most loved peanut butter brand is in Denmark. So, might take some sifting through to find I was asking the pimp brand that's right for us. What's that? I said pimp. Okay. I've been looking for some peanut butter, man. You know, peanut butter toast, peanut butter in your smoothies. Like, oh. there, peanut butter is a, it's, it's a staple. A guy like me trying to put on some pounds, you know, it's easy to just shove some peanut butter yeah. into whatever it is you need. And uh, You. Yeah, me. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, yeah, he said... Uh, Kanda, we don't eat that here. 
<laughs> that's what he sounded like. Yeah. Yeah, that's actually pretty good. And he looked at me like I was. Did you say that again? What was that? He said, we don't have any peanut butter. That's good. That's pimp, yeah? Yeah. yeah. That's Sounds pimp. exactly like pimp. Uh, this that's is so Matthew. Weird. Yeah. This is Maniac. Right. Uh, this is Maniac when he uh, predicts for uh, Vitality to win the games. Yes. Now you got James Banks, bro. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He came in here and said you're a genius because you picked uh, you picked the straws for the first game. Mm -hmm. And you picked Made in Brazil. Yes. Who are currently losing to a team that keep dropping out of the server. So maybe uh, not. I, don't know. I was feeling like a genius after Nuke. Yeah, Nuke was Not going to lie. That was a steep. Not going to lie was the only person on the talent lineup to go for the Astralis MIBR doozy. Uh -huh. Took a bit of a risk today. You know, there's only uh, there's only today and tomorrow left in the prediction game mm -hmm. for the Blast Fall series. And uh, coming into the day, I believe there was like a four or five way tie at eight points. Yeah. Biggest prop has to go to Freya because she was absolutely dead last at the start. And mm -hmm. now she has gotten all the way back. Right. Flawless group two, I believe. Okay. Um, but the Astralis pick puts me, Semler, and Freya tied at nine. Right. If MIBR win this, I take double digits first. Okay. If Furia can reverse sweep the series. It's possible. That it's Freya and Semler on for the crown tomorrow. Don't hold your breath. We don't know what's going to happen. Yeah. Could be a good one. Should be a good one. Damn, this group has it ever delivered. You know, it's wild. You go back to the Blast Spring series where we had complexity in the quote unquote group of death. You know, they were alongside Navi, Astralis, and Vitality. Mm -hmm. And uh, you know, there's that there's that famous Thorin quote where it's like, uh, this, this group has all the best teams in the world and complexity. Mm -hmm. And that was so fair at the time. And then complexity comes out of nowhere, blows everybody out of the water, shocks the Counter-Strike world. Fast forward to October 2020. We finally get a little action back in Counter-Strike. Blast Fall series. This is the group of death instead. Again, we have a total underdog meant to be written off every single day of the week. And here we are, made in Brazil with a map win over Astralis and Furia. It'll take some eyes adjusting. Now, luckily for MIBR, they haven't really won any trophies under this banner, so it, when you look at their HLTV page, it's kind of a fresh start. Yes. New, new roster, and you just get used to the fact, you know, it's been a while. The closest they really got was with Stewie and Tarek. Deny it if you'd like, but that was the that was the best version of the roster. And they were with, within one round of winning a couple of trophies, actually. Mm -hmm. Kind of sad to see that dissolve. Maybe it was for the best. But now, I mean, it's not really... It's not in... It's not an amalgamation of bits and pieces and good things that worked with a little bit of bad that we know was there that you have to get used to and sure they'll find consistency. No, it's brand new. It's everything is brand new. It's brand spanking new. I'm slapping the uh, the rooftop of this made in Brazil car and saying, don't, don't think about old MIBR anymore. This is just something of its own. So it's taken some, some it's, we have to get used to it, but I'm liking what we're getting used to. As do I. I think Counter-Strike's just kind of hitting a phase where there's a lot of teams going through. Everything is going really well Ooh. right now. All of, I love that in Counter-Strike, all of the dream and nightmare and crazy roster moves, every single rumor almost comes true. And when you hear about things like, even like players who have almost gone to Cloud9, Simple almost came to NA at one point. I mean, some crazy stuff has almost happened, but then still, almost every other roster move has delivered. The Kovach brothers have found each other on G2. Uh, FaZe have now opened up to a point. They actually have, have started to look like their own team. This MIBR roster. Furia is the most stable complexity. player. JKS to complexity. Oh. Finally getting to see a star player on a, a lineup where he could potentially do even more. It's Everything's worked out quite well. Everything's worked out quite well. We still have yet to see Cloud9, which will be very interesting, but... Counter-Strike's in a really fun spot from that perspective. It is in a fun spot. Vitality with the showing us how to do a six man six man roster properly. Yep. Properly. History being made. Yeah. Not like with Astralis where they had players that come in as a sub and we don't know exactly know what their real intentions are with that. With Vitality, they show us specialize on maps, introduce them on two of whatever maps, maybe add more maps in, but they showed us consistent, reliable way that doesn't feel like there's emotional decision-making behind it, right? Just like you play on this one map. 
as a way for other teams to frame how they could bring in new players. They've they've been a trailblazer in that regard. Vitality were the ones. Yes. Which is sick. So much cool stuff, man. The fact that they came into their group here at Blast Fall Series with no real need to prove this new experiment. You know, they had already qualified for the Global Finals. They had already qualified for Fall Finals, having opened up the group so well. And then we just saw them continuously test it. You know, it's not like Nevera played one map across the three days and whatever not. By the time we got to the third day, when they were making a run at the at the winner's victory, we saw two roster changes within the series. Yeah, Nevera Shock sat playing out. alongside Masuda. Masuda with Nevera. It was so cool to see them properly implement it. You know, they they push the envelope. And I think, it. you know, there are, there are types of people in this world who would kind of in the back of their minds have that as a, a safety net. Ah, we're just trying something so incredibly different that who cares if it falters, yeah. who cares if it fails. But they didn't fail at all. And you saw it, man. They were hyped. They yeah. were really pumped for their victory. And you have to remember that, like, the reason it doesn't make sense to people who are looking on who have played Counter-Strike for as long as we have, it's like, you can never imagine a situation where you could sub someone out and then still be the number one team in the world. That seems like such a crazy goal, right? It's hard enough to do it with five kind of thing. But when you look at Nevera taking him on his specialty maps, he had the highest rating for the two maps that he played. Yep. And if you look at his stats, everything would allude to the fact that he is really great at Dust2, for example, where he was a top fragger in the games in the game that they won. And the only game they lost, he bottom fragged. Or sorry, the only game they lost, he top fragged. They, he, he didn't even play well one map, and they still won. And then after the very obvious expertise that he implements with Dust2, we kind of got drip-fed because his second best performing map was Inferno, yeah. and that's where we saw him in the winner's BO3. So, again, that also going well. Mm -hmm. Just really, you know, it, it's, it's almost like they didn't try and force him into the roster, overwhelm the kid with way too much to handle. You know, there's no stimulus overload for Nevera. He walks in with a very clear path to success, a very clear road to victory, mm -hmm. and he kept the lineup, all five, all six, in fact. Yeah. Stayed on the road, stuck between the lines. And the re return of Zipex? Oh my god, the return of Zipex. <laughs> like, Dude, we were in the hotel room. Beyond everything else. We were that, that one versus two on Catwalk. I couldn't believe it, man. I sat there, I said, watch, Zipnix is back. Wanders looked up from his red curry. Huh? And then next thing you know, <laughs> boop, boop. Double headshots. Yeah. So good. It's like his aim is not... He's probably got the least impressive aim on Astralis. But when he's in 1vx situations, he suddenly Power's has up. like a better aim than he's ever had. It's so cool to watch. It's like Dragon Ball Z, you know? It's the it's the unsuspecting characters that are constantly useless. Gohan versus... Frieza. Did you just take a shot in the dark? May have. I see your face. You look terrified. Damn it. Krillin versus Frieza. Okay. Krillin versus Cell. That's actually an underdog fight. Okay. Facts. Gohan versus Cell. Chiatsu versus the Cybermen. Okay. Got any more? What's the last? Do you watch? Do you still watch it? Sophie watched anime. Sophie watches some very obscure animes that I have no clue what they're called. Okay. She turns she turns anime on the TV, and I say, love you to death, babe, but uh, I'll see you in a few hours. I gotta go play COD. Yes, sir. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, we get along. I like, I like anime. Yeah, I said that. Good for you. For thousands and thousands. I've heard Chad referencing like Haikyuu and stuff like that. I'm like, oh, okay. There's th There has been a very... They're getting into it. A very good I don't know how long you've been into this from our dear danger zone messiah rushly one two three four five six okay and ah true bad chad bro chill true true that is a really great bromance true, and true. I think that they make each other better people and I've played games with them both they synergize well you know I like to see rushly rushly to chad is like you to dj Okay, yeah. I mean, my favorite thing about DJ is quoting things that he says and yes. just tweeting things that he says. He's actually like 30% of my tweets when I'm at LAN with him. My favorite one, I don't know if I said this on the broadcast, I always reference it in person every time he says something new, and I always link back to this tweet. Last Copenhagen 2018. I'm at the breakfast buffet. This is my favorite DJ quote of all time. It actually brings tears to my eyes. <laughs> I'm at the breakfast buffet. I'm complaining to DJ. I'm saying, DJ. Man, I wish there were more vegetables at the breakfast buffet. 
I get my vegetables in in the morning after a run. He said, hey, I think there's a fruit salad at the breakfast buffet. I said, DJ, there's no vegetables in a fruit salad. And he said, what do people normally call a vegetable salad? <laughs> and I bet you had that face. <laughs> it just, it makes you go cross-eyed because yeah. you're trying to understand what that question even means, how it addresses the issue, why he thought there were vegetables and fruit salad, all of these questions. There's so many questions. So many questions. DJ so leaves few you answers. asking questions. You know, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's the best kept secret in all of Counter Strike, that Prius, yeah, DJ, would actually be the most valuable member of broadcast talent. He's hilarious. He's ascended. He's the whole package. He's but ascended. Yeah. He is. He is. He is too much of a gem that we keep him. We gotta. We gotta hold him back. Okay. We gotta keep him behind the lines. So right. We can enjoy it because if if you all knew what DJ had for you. He'd become the star of the show. And we've seen some BTS skits. And it at would least. change him. That's true. Yeah, we can't have him change. We must protect him at all costs. Oddly enough, he's listening into this, mm -hmm. planning his escape. But when you started that that salad story, he was uh, actually shaking the observer screen, obviously <laughs> in protest. Yeah. But he's doing it again. There's nothing he can do to stop us. Right. One time, DJ said to us, <laughs> he said, "Guys, guys, you know my dad. He actually has four toes." And then wait, wait, no. He has five. <laughs> and we kind of looked at him as if thinking, what is the point of this story? Oh, and you know what? He didn't have an answer. <laughs> there was no explanation. How DJ, do you, How do you accidentally think your dad doesn't have the right amount of toes and then just correct it to actually five? Leaves you with so many questions. DJ's life, a giant fever dream that we're all just a part of. Maybe we're the crazy ones. Well, I mean, I'm not doubting that. <laughs> I am not doubting that. Ladies and gents, just to give you guys an update, I see 10 players back in the server. I see players buying guns. I see readies. I see have funds. Thank you so much for bearing with us and our go to storytelling. A break? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Six round lead here for Furia. The T side that delivered despite the roughest of technical issues. Let's see how strong they can close. K Serato rejoining the server like a fully powered Goku. Ready to chop down MIBR before we get into that second half. Full by each side, double sniper setup for the defense. Interesting, actually passed out the hall. This is not something that we saw Furia do. It's all about Yuri this round. We can see how much space he's actually bringing up for our art. Busting out the top mid, something brand new out of this pause. Bit of a change of style here. Oh, nice boost. Yeah, this gonna is... gonna get caught? What? Whoa, hold on a second. The wow. Was... Yeah, 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 as you mentioned. Unlucky. KNG, he had an inkling as to what was going down there. Decided not to pull the trigger. And Lucas will. Finds the headshot into Yuri. TRK sprays from the corner. Lucas finding his second. But TRK not yet having a teammate to help him out. Leo in full support mode. Just can't quite exit library fast enough. And he sticks around to a fight that loses his head. We have praised VSM. But he is 3 and 12. And while both these players incredibly low... He's gonna have to swap to the sidearm to close. Oh, or else it's double digit to the C T side of Furia. K Serato falls first. Oh, that's actually so VSM sick. back in with the op. Henny posted on the box. And VSM's just gonna let he this knows. one sink in. He knows. Yeah, he's starting to figure it out. Clearing his corners, has to check close. Oh, and oh the Dude. no scope connects. For a man with five frags, he's got a clutch to his name and a fourth on the board for MIBR. I love that there's no secrets with VSM. You know exactly what he's thinking. He's doing all the right moves, and it's not based on random information. You saw he's clearing out the hay card just in case Henny makes a play, but he's waiting with just enough patience, isolating the two fights in the most common positions, and then just winning the duels. I mean, he makes it look very easy. And this is even on such low kills. This guy is special. Free this man. Free this man. Cheating when you're young and then getting banned forever is garbage. Oh, no. I think they've got... Uh... Oh, VSM's got a fix, actually. Looks like an FPS bug, so at least yeah. it's not a crash. 
Gaben, I know it's your birthday. Mm -hmm. I'd get you a present, but I want one first. Fix the FPS bug. FPS bug and uh, Acor will will release the hostages. Yeah, they're gonna they're gonna die of starvation. Soon. Yeah. Unless he feeds them. Okay. Quick fix. Back in. DJ was getting nervous. That, that was a different we bug, right? Stories. Yeah. It might have been a different bug. Okay. Which is good. Because I think one is a big PC thing. No. Okay. Well, that was a very, very cool round. I mean, just the 1v2 was sick, but also the opening. Ouch. Okay, Art. Jesus. Oh and, uh, of course, the off shot to top it off. <laughs> he survives the two nades. Survives the bombing run and gets caught before he can land the plane. Yeah, the fast hauls for Yuri. Yeah, Love that. just going to transition this one quick. There is still a player posted up. Lucas, he's just going to run right into Vinny. Easy kills coming into this A site. Looking like the double digits likely. That's a nice adjustment. I like these last two rounds. Yuri fast hauls. Again, not something that they've been doing. They've been focusing almost every single player to banana for most of these early rounds. And this time, these last couple of rounds, they've had Yuri just go out the halls and use him as a, a failsafe. He's actually leading the charge on that pass round and just most recently been an exit plan for if Art doesn't get what he wants off a of banana. Again, I'm really like the way that, you know, Made in Brazil are attacking banana hard on the CT side, not letting Art get space, mm -hmm. making him frustrated. Yeah. Probably crashing uh, Caserato's PC out of frustration. <laughs> but even if they lose the round, which sometimes doesn't look great, they're making sure to just not let it get to that point. Now, the rest of the protocols and stuff, I mean, that's where Furia can really shine. And it's good to see that their T side is getting on track, so we can really talk about the depth of their playbook now. But we're already wrapping up this half, finally. Into round 15, and there's that opening kill. But this is the important one. Yeah, catching up the fallback. KNG just wasn't quite quick enough, and you already predicts the position from TRK. He's been there a couple times now. 15th and final round of this never-ending T-side. P90 for Art, and KNG goes for the audacious peak. He's gonna even go for another, lands it. There goes the P90, KNG looking for another. Two players down there, but he anticipates, anticipates that alt peak. <laughs> <laughs> Great market. I'm losing my mind. And oh. Kay Serato blows the brains out of KNG. Vinny at bat. Walks outwards, nobody keeping him in here. Oof. And now suddenly Lucas, he is in a bit of a pickle. Vinny on the rafters is actually taken down. And now man advantage up for MIBR. Interesting, they pulled guard here on the B site. Case Serato's gonna walk through his smoke. They're not so scared of this because they know there's more at stake if they don't take a risk and run into a stack. So potential here for the smoke to come out. Rotator positions, CTs will have to Coordinate for a retake. No impact grenades to stop the bomb from getting planted. They're not going for any trick to reverse boost. Instead, you wow. come flying through the smoke. He heard the reload, but there was just two. So a really nice bait here from MIVR. Yeah, good cover here by Leo. Final attempt in the half for K Serato to clutch. Now would be a bad time for a PC crash. But he's fine. Please and don't jinx it. No utility to play. Tons of nades still for MIBR. Double smoke, double flash, one of which thrown out. He's going to play the skinny pillar. A couple shots whiz by, but he focused on Leo. Jumps the gun ever so slightly, sprays for the first headshot, Empty. but that is all he'll find. Made in Brazil, adding a fifth round to the tally after a labored first 15. Of course, there's still a chance they can run back Inferno now that they're on the T side. They can set the pace after Furia set the Prime BR to handle longer. Uh, what do you make of it? Yeah, it's tough. I mean, your guess is as good as mine. I actually feel like C T side will be easier than their CT side. Um, but I don't think that, you know, Fury are going to be, like, sad or, or upset to be playing CT side at all. Uh, good to see. Uh, we haven't even seen Vinferno yet, and he was already doing so much work on the on the T side. And Vinferno is all about his incredible CT sides. These two, a few outstanding performances on a team full of stars shining brighter than a supernova sometimes at the top of Banana for some reason. Vinny yeah, just... Hot has performances that no one else on the team can even come close to on CT side Inferno, just out of nowhere. On average, you know, the kind of the least well-performing player of, on, on Furia, but still a real player does his job. It's just weird that sometimes he can literally be the most mechanically gifted, smart player um, 
on this map. It's it's just uh yeah, it's a, it's a, it's a treat. I don't know if we're going to get that Vin Vinferno today, but we're already 12 and 7 in the first half. It's a decent showing. Can't be upset with that. But how much of a second half will we even get? Bombs down on T ramp and Art is about to find it. KNG trying to keep him honest. Further damage done to the uh -oh. two players already tagged up. Art he is a wrench in the works. There's a fight going down on mid, but they're in full damage control, trying to catch Art, trying to hunt him down. His gun goes dry, and now he's dead. A man advantage for the T-side pistol, but 35 seconds left. What do they feel here? If they head into this A site, headstrong, they could very well be wrong in doing so, but Furia move their feet. They evacuate with no need. Oh, the bomb. Oh, okay. The bomb's going to be... Nonetheless, they could have just walked into the A site. Suddenly, they're going to pause over on the CT spawn. VSM with the kill versus Henny. Yuri further back at a bit of a distance. Bomb plant now through. A wild pistol that could still easily slip either way. Smoke for banana. Kit Two on players. Yuri. KNG, quick execution. Sees another player coming smoke, in. Bad smoke. Yuri's got the answer. BSM, what can he offer? Nothing further. Leo now has to clutch this one versus two. Yuri with the kit, already halfway through the defuse, needs to stop it. He gets popped, and K Serato can't quite catch him on the chase. There's barely any time. Oh, He's going to sprint back in for kit. Taps it once to cause confusion, but Leo takes the pistol. That's, that's just beautiful, man. He ran instantly, left no time to be chased down. I think Case Auto made the best play possible in looking for that duel. Leo, he's got you covered, man. This guy is an insurance policy on MIBR. Plays such an interesting role on this team. Has so many standout rounds, and this is just one more to tie it in. And of course, it was such a great start for Case Auto. And and also, Yuri was so close to getting, getting that bomb from crossing as well. So tough for him. The rotations made sense, but it might be our take it. And surely we'll see some more inspired rounds here for Furia on their CT side, on their save rounds. They've got more time and practice together. That's a hell of a way to start. That's a meaty nade. Lucas wasting no time taking control of the apartments. Deagles come blaring through the walls. Four members of Furia up on this A site. What's that leave for the solo hold? Vinny on the Deag with smoke. Arch would actually be the greatest way to wrap around to the B site. But Henny with the pistol. Good for one. Bomb still back. Oh, this push through. Oh my god. He's committing? Oh my god. Oh my lord. This is a dangerous breadbasket. Two members of Furia on the A site. Vinny's starting to wrap around in CT spawn. 50 seconds. These rotations are a little bit worrying for Made in Brazil. The way that they're moving around the map at this moment. They have pulled out, it looks like almost safely. They almost got caught up by the lane push, but the bomb has made its way to the bottom of B. And it looks like the CTs will be forced to chase them around, so... It's not that the idea was bad to go B, of course. Look at it. It's open, but... Still slow on B site. Yeah. Clearing everything, but clearly this is where they will go for their commitment. So Vinny's Desert Eagle as he's long lost his smoke. Now the Arch player just called that the hot flank is on. KNG could clear it all. Doesn't want to lose the AK. No need to die. Oh my god. Imagine if VSM comes off that plant with only four seconds. Right. That's the only way they could have lost this, which means they won't. Made in Brazil with a seventh, now trailing by three. Mm -hmm. But dude, that, that entire round just made scary. my skin crawl. Yeah, it's a bit I was scary. just, it was, I was uncomfortable watching it. I think we talked about that feel out period again, and I think there was moments there where in that feel out, they could have easily, if Furia knew what was going on or how unconfident they felt or looked, they might've been able to exploit it, but they didn't. And, uh, yeah, and, and ultimately, in terms of picking the correct site, they've got that idea. The calls have been very strong, I'd say, for MIBR on their T-sides, which has been some of the most impressive stuff, because fresh IGL, of course. Again, a lot of Leo's ideas. Um, Kogu, I think, as uh, Matthew mentioned, doesn't even have his headset on, so he's not contributing in, in terms of tactics. Not sure if he's put it on for map two or what, but... Uh, yeah, they've been doing a good job of just understanding, being pragmatic about which site they choose. How they get there, obviously, is not going to look as sick when you have a, a less first and experienced team. 
but they're getting the job done. That's all that matters. So, another save here. Caserato will recycle a scout, some armor. Yuri will have armor as well. Push down mid. Yeah, completely open for the taking. They're not really prepared for this, are they? No, VSM, offset crosshair. Bomb's actually on the ramp, completely cut off. If the CTs could win a couple gunfights, then suddenly this round is winnable. KNG, damage down range. Problem with Henny was that he's up in their face, but he too taken out of this one. So that scout was unable to find any frags. The pistol players tried their damnedest, but obviously from the get-go here, MIBR were favored, and therefore they'll close. Already within two on this T side, mm -hmm. but of course, we have yet to see guns for Furia. Yeah, that's the big thing. So we'll see what happens when the guns come out, but the bomb goes down, and no joke these days to have clean, clean anti ecos. So that's a lot of money made here for MIBR. Not too much going into just the SMGs, but it uh, doesn't matter. They could make a bit. They'd rather take five alive. You. Belai. He hears the footsteps, so Caserato's definitely dead. Maybe Yuri gets away. He's still sitting in the boiler. Mac 10 player could get him, but he's got the flank on Lucas. Nice. A Galil. Ah, the wall bang headshot. This cake has been iced. How about a cherry on top? A third frag, perhaps? Yeah, I mean, they kind of want to chase, but at the same time, not really. Like, they're they're going to want three more. They have these AKs as well. Yeah, just about money right now. So, lots, lots of money for Furia. Certainly, we see the op come out. Don't know if there's potential for two. Henny will be the one to buy one. Art's going up on the M4. Vinny will keep the Galil. And they'll have a little bit to spare after this round is over as well, I think. At least on Vinny. What is going to be the opening strategy for MIBR? Well, we saw actually yesterday it was so interesting that one call from Nexa where they bought two Mac 10s and rushed ramp versus Furia, who so on a round where they had 1,500 or so to yeah. spare, they still didn't buy head armor. And they were stuck with the triple op. That's like a demo round. So I wonder if uh, MIBR are going to assume that they are also not going to have much head armor. MP7. Yes, sir. Leo, my man. Your favorite. My favorite. I'm telling you, this bad boy at $1,500. Slapped the roof of it. Got 267 uh, utility damage, I believe, from, from Leo, but it's been <laughs> kind of low for everybody else. Up on the field and Henny. Don't forget about that. Yuri trying to get control of the apartments. Taking a close look at that util damage, but it must be an average or something, right? Because there should have, there was lots of util damage, I feel like. In that first half, the screen's kind of far away, so I'm not sure if that's what I read. <laughs> Anyways, Hall's control here for MIBR. Yeah, they got Yuri convinced to fall back at least onto the balcony. B player is Art alone, so the closer they get to this A site, the closer they get to danger. Good chip damage off of the nade. Art may hesitate to continuously peek like this. Close. He could die even jump peeking. Yeah, got to be cautious. And Spot he falls back, back just at the right time. This is so much info. Does for... he fall back? He's still here. They might think that they, there's only one on B still. So this could be a good opportunity, but they don't want to get too loose where the bomb is still left back on A site. Art, naughty with a gun out. Oh my god. Yeah, they smoke primed. Now KNG, he's going to create all this space. Not shot in the back. Predicts Vinny's peak. What? and blows his head clean off. That's 100% gonna magnetize Bomb, and Made in Brazil will win the very first gun round of this second half. Furio will be lucky if they even get to save. Okay, I love not using grenades to get banana control because you can, even though you could get opt, if you don't think you'll get opt and you're willing to take that risk, there is no way that a CT can make a competent rotation, like a reasonable guess as to where to go. And if you know a team is gonna go into that 4-1, the worst thing you wanna do is like, fake or window flash from spawn send like three up banana and then let everybody know that you're going to take banana control so a, a, a really big risk there actually for kng but he plays it all the way into the end to perfection that was exactly what the read is on the setup totally punishes art for trying to put that smoke down and the first oranges barrels are so highly spammable not surprised he died on that first peak
And it looks like they might lock down these kills as well. We'll see. They're trying. Taking down the AWP would be massive, but Lucas maybe not softened up and ooh, it actually comes to Call cost quick. MIBR. They lose out two. Yeah. Easy rebuy though. Check e out KNG 10k. Yeah. They, they're at a surplus with the three. It's just very nice for Fury as they keep three as well. We see they turn that into a double op setup right now. You know, I thought to myself, like KNG going on a bit of a tear towards the B site. I really appreciate the fact that he went hunting for an entry. Mm -hmm. You know, but finding Art with his smoke in hand, VSM supported him with the flash. He wasted no time trying to find a second player on site, but rather honed in on Vinny. He knew, he knew as soon as Art was there by himself. Mm -hmm. Yeah, It all went well. Big fight down banana. Vinny gets denied. He got the dink versus VSM, who's now ahead of the grenade, and he anticipates Art's wrong. peak. That has to be frustration. Art thinking he could close out, but Caserato will have the back turned Leo. of Leo. Leo. Oh no! Oh my god. He drops the shot. Leo's gonna come back, and that is a crucial kill to lose. This round unraveled, and yet there is still a chance, or at least there was. Henny tries to toy with the CT smoke, and now this could be five alive for Made in Brazil. Could this have gone any better? What is happening right now? Well, these rounds are insane. I. I don't know what, like VSM stuffs them on B. I missed that Vinny kill I'll So somewhere else. Uh, the Vinny kill, yeah, so VSM stuck in the corner. Vinny comes running down banana. He's got VSM stuck in the corner with a smoke advantage, hits the dink, but doesn't get the kill. AK better, bets, beats him. Then VSM, in order to dodge the frag grenade that was coming to trade him, moves forward. Art scopes Cyclops vision. Mm. He's not even right on he's his side, just fully yeah. exposed, man. But and then Leo, <laughs> and then I mean that one's yeah, just uh, that's tough. That's a trigger discipline. He really just wanted to hope. He was just hoping a second player would come onto his screen, but there's no one else there, and he Watch misses this. that first one. Okay, get a second. Gets look dink, at it. gets that, moves inwards, knows he has to aggress. Oh, dude. And Art's just looking down. This is so rough. I mean, especially oh, what? And Maybe just he, like that, it's tied 10-10. Man, did he start strafing before he started shooting? I don't even know. That's tough. That's tilting. I, that one could have brought it back. Absolutely. 10-10. to 10. Dude, K Serato doesn't want to be here. Listen, Fury's number one enemy is themselves right now. Double op setup again. Both at this B site. I can't believe it. They're doing the two ops on Banana again. Molly will... Missed the mark, not gonna fluster VSM. He does take a shot, and the grenade is perfect. Yes, oh. he throws one back the other way, but Art, he's got himself the shot. KNG down to the dirt. That's the opening they were hoping for in the previous round. You know, you just said it. They go back for the exact same thing, and this time it works wonderfully. Yuri, gonna eat nades, but Henny with the wall bang into the apartments gets smoked. Lucas could trade, but the incendiary makes things a little more difficult. Two versus five here. MIBR, little to lose. Easy rebuy, so there is crucial impact to be found here with frags. And that frag grenade itself nearly gets the job done, but Yuri up on balcony, still ever present. And TRK outnumbered one to five. This is absolutely a round Furia needed in a fashion they had to get one. Yeah, true. Everyone, look at any situation where they lose two or three, even two, yeah. And with last round being such a blunder, I'm happy to see Furia get an, a chance to recover. Yeah, real sick round here for Mart and just the nades that they use on, on Banana to isolate the frags. Try to put MIBR in their place a little bit here. You know, wall bang combined with the HE. Ooh, high jump record. Just, just beautiful. Boom! Oh my goodness. Yeah, that's... It nice. was that. Oh my goodness. Okay. Well, you know, in the ridiculous fashion that MIBR won their previous rounds, they also did it getting lucky in spots, but keeping so many alive each time. They've got money left over. Going in for the opt side, Kanji. Hmm. Curious to see if it pans out. Molotov at the feet. Ouch, that comes at a cost. Good damage from MIBR's grenades. Caserato just looking to skate by the side of smoke. Leo, he's within it. And Caserato just made noise on the fallback. So sure enough, the flash comes in. They chase ever so slightly. Whoa, they've got Arch. Fully. 
Hold on a second. Does Henny How much know? does Henny know here? Yeah, he's going to clear this out and then come back, but will it be too late? They've already gone through. Yeah, the <gasps> B players have actually moved into the spawn oh to try and lend a helping God. hand. Leo, he's looking for the headshots. Awkward fight to take with that pillar. He's low. Vinny knows. There's the close, but a second player they did not expect. And Lucas won. How about two? Vinny and Art both drop by him. That opens the B site completely. And the bomb, even though it's back in spawn, has time to be retrieved. 11 rounds apiece, because you know Fury you have to save this. Dude, I love how they smoked library. This is a spot where Henny, these are the protocols. Henny comes through, he raps, he sees that they've, that he doesn't see anyone there. He knows, he's not dumb. They've gone through CT spawn. They're in this walk up and he knows the timings. They could potentially catch someone there. And instead of MIBR just saying, wow, we're, we're going super incognito, solid as snake, we're in a great position, let's keep pushing it. Instead of that, they say, we know that you know we're here at this point. Let's just smoke you out and then start fighting. And it ends up being perfect. And I, I, I just, it's such a small thing, but there's a temptation to assume that the other team is stupid in a position like that, not throw that smoke down, and then just like try to lurk, 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 and then just lose. But the double up in CT spawn, the push through with the smoke, just perfection. Kind of a brave play in some in some perspective, in my opinion. So, Furia, three on site, they save. No, no hope, as you as you pointed out, and another tie situation. Like the call is great, right? They find arch. They find arch wide open. Yep. And the thing is, too, is they they thought they had regained control of this when Vinny killed Leo. Not expect, because think even back to when K. Serato dropped the ball and he watched him go into Arch. He was completely on his, his own that round, Leo. Yeah. This time there's a second player there, and that second player literally makes the difference as Furia had to transition into the save. Man, MIBR, this is a 20, this is round 23, and everybody from MIBR has between 11 and 13 kills. <laughs> wow. <laughs> what? That's grit and determination. Double op situation for Furia versus KNG on one. Deep utility down banana. Minute 25 on the clock. What is that? Okay. Oh. Yeah, I just want to put my headset down. That was insane. Oh. Instantly recalls the other two CTs, and that's a quick headshot from K. Serato. Can't quite catch a second. Art will cheat through smoke. And slap down Leo for now. Bomb is near the site. Oh my god, he fl smoked right through it. I thought that was the flash for the peak, but now he's just going to sit within it. VSM they know. has... They know. Yeah, he's gone beyond. They don't know that VSM is through this. Not at all. And he has the bomb of all things. <gasps> Art seems to know. Realizing there's a chance that they crossed paths. Art going for the peak. Catches VSM. Now the bomb belongs to Furia. With 30 seconds left, MIBR need to find a way to get through this. Somehow, some way. But Vinny, he is so ready to slip through this smoke and shut down what's left of MIBR. Insta kills TRK. Good heads up play by Art to not lose track of the possibility that Bomb had crossed beyond him. That's uh, such an insane game of timing and uh, man, just, you know, high level 1v1 there from Art and VSM. VSM pushes through to gather the info that Art hasn't done that. And he took some risk by going through that smoke, but uh, sometimes it's a bigger risk to just sit there and wait and tries to take the round into his own hands, but Art, he gets the understanding that someone was on site, now there isn't, yeah. finds a great spot to put himself in, and nobody was willing to come out and trade once they saw Art smoke. That's respect. Leaves me wondering, like, if VSM had just tucked further back into construction, would Art have just let his guard down? His teammates on Banana, though, it's yeah. like they were just back there. So many what-ifs, what could have been. And what could still be? Up by one, Furia leading 12 to 11. Yuri opening up with the first kill of round 24. Vinny goes for the peak, gets the headshot to his name. Art's here to support if needed. And with VSM's frag right there, they may call him into action. Henny versus KNG on a mid peak. Lucas there to trade. Can he get it? Yes. 2v3 nonetheless, MIBR. Perhaps to head strong at this A site, 
they would find Yuri on his own, committed to the corner. But they fall silent, and they split up. Uh, also looks very tantalizing and Yuri and Cold, but as long as they clean out Pit, make it comfort, comfortable in this spot, Furia are hedging their bets. They're playing one spotting Speedway, hoping to rotate B. But Yuri could easily multi-frag from this position alone. Yeah, it's going to be awkward to clear him without He's going into pit. 20 and 8? Nobody, bro. Nobody out from library. This is all on the shoulders of Yuri. He just heard the player drop pit. They start to commit. They uh -oh. know. They hone in on him. And yes, there is the trade. Lucas needs to cross. And Art catches him in the process. 13th round for Furia. All he needs to do right there. God, a bit dangerous. He went for the pre-fire. And they were shooting at him. So they're letting him know they're going to clear it. Try to pull him out of that spot. But he still gets the kill. 21 and 9. My God. Yuri, great game by him. Yeah. Pretty insane considering how many other players have died. I thought that gap over on Arch was going to come back to cost Furia. Looked like maybe they'd get the bomb in, but, you know, Art does swing wide in time. This is one straight. <laughs> I don't even know. That explains it. I don't even know which twin. Or is Fury, right? Yeah. Okay. Just, any. All right. So out of excitement, I guess. I, I feel know. like... <laughs> I feel abused by Fury today, man. You don't like my pizza? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Too good. Too good. Poker player? Yeah, I saw that. Eh? Mm. All right, this is it. Desert Eagles up for MIBR. Remember, this was a 10-5 half for Furia in the first 15. Five in a row from MIBR made us think it was possible. We exchanged some rounds back and forth, but Furia winning that last one, the 24th, now nets them, you'd think, a follow-up round win. But Desert Eagles can be deadly. And they've got two CTs kind of pinned down here on the fast lane. But there's the pain train as Henny and Yuri their body bag three. <laughs> the conductors of the pain train. Doot, doot. <laughs> All right. I was almost more scared for Furia with the Deagles involved, considering, yeah, you know, like, you know, it's like it's kind of like we don't know how deep um, MIBR's playbook's going to go. And then that random Deagle it. eco plus the save behind it, that would lead into another buy. It's always scary. But Furia, get their feet on the ground. They plow through that one. No op will be in position here for KNG to buy. Don't know how much he wants it, but we saw that he was going for it. Almost all of them are on 13 kills. Teamwork makes the dream work. That's pretty insane for round 26. No one has more than 13 kills, and it's like a still a competitive game. T-side right. op's been forfeited over. Oh my god, Art. You are a madman. But not too deep. Not too deep. Comfortably. Can't quite hit that mini flick. Comes in for second servings. What on earth? VSM, closer of the two, goes down. Henny on the other side of middle with a secondary frag. Now Yuri's at bat. Just sheer aggression here in round 26. They want their 15th round, and they want it here and now. But... Can't afford to force the issue. Two players from Furia back closer towards pit. They've got Arch plugged up with Henny and or Caserado in position. And Vinny tasked with holding B on his own. Incendiary could certainly help, but if they take his head off clean, that's going to be the sprint. He jump spots it, and they commit regardless. And he's got them both. Nice transition into the expected peak. That right there is their 15th, and they lead by four. Yep, he's got nine and a half so far. Start at 12 and seven coming into it. Looking pretty strong both sides. Same for Yuri. And again, just much higher kills here for Fury overall. A great shot from Art. I mean, a wicked fast flick. You don't even see the full thing. Yuri goes out for a ton. Labored straight by Leo. They're going to need more than that. Quicker shots to be able to win rounds. One Galil here on Leo. He's all alone. Mercenary mission. He was going in the halls on their default. And it looks like that's what's called this time around. But it's just pistol support to support pistols here on Banana. Yeah, that sounds like a rickety bridge. Yeah. It's the blind leading the blind. Look out for traffic. The semi-truck of Furia looks to... 
put a quick end to this. MIBR perhaps about to get pancaked. Well, Yuri, yep. off the smoke. Halls is not so bad. This is a tricky smoke. They're not making it seem like it's going to be some kind of lane split. KNG has one flash for the Halls pop, so they'll know. Three players here, though. One on Arch. This is going to be a very tough order for MIBR. So far, it's Furia across the kill feed entirely. Frag Grenade gets one out of the bread basket, but this is it. Furia, they close 16 rounds to 11. Damn, it took some time. But after that first 10-5, you thought they'd have it in the bag. We need to go to Vertigo. And this is where we know Furia can deliver. This is where we've seen MIBR try to challenge. So questions yet to be answered. Ladies and gentlemen, with elimination on the line, somebody taking an L after this next map.